Hello and welcome to the Factory Talk Motion Analyzer training. In this session, we will focus on creating a motion profile. After completing this module, you should be able to know the basic properties of a motion profile and be familiar creating simple motion profiles for varied application purposes. What is a motion profile? A motion profile is the representation of the movement of the load. Here we have an example of a packaging machine that has a conveyor belt. We can see that the conveyor moves cyclically, moving the load or the boxes forward in steps or indexes. This movement can be represented in a graphical form and designed in Factory Talk Motion Analyzer for both rotary and linear axes, including inclination for linear axis, load mass or inertia, and external forces or torque and friction data. Let's go back to our packaging machine and take our conveyor belt as an example. We can see that the axis type is linear since the load is moving in a linear fashion. We have as data that the index advance is of 300 millimeters. Each index advance is made in one second and the conveyor belt dwells for half a second for the operations like filling the boxes and closing them. The mass of each full box is of one kilogram and there are five boxes on the conveyor at a time. Now let's transfer this information into FTMA. The first thing we want to do in our new conveyor project is to create a new blank axis. When the axis is created, we will start editing it. The first thing you set up for an axis is the motion type. There are the rotary, linear, and rotary complex options. There's also the possibility to use one of the several application templates available. For now, we will choose the one that matches our conveyor application, which is linear axis. Then we continue to the next step, confirm the changes, and come into the profile editor. The first thing we want to do is open the right pane for the profile editor. Here you can set up the initial conditions for your motion profile. For our conveyor application, both the initial velocity and position are zero, so we can leave them as default. So this is what the profile editor looks like. On the left hand side, there is the Y axis view where the motion related parameters can be visualized, like velocity and position. The profile editor right pane also shows the motion related parameters as well as the ones related to the load. The color boxes show the values of the parameters to the point in time where you hover your mouse cursor on the graph. The units can be changed from the drop down menus. Now, Let's add the motion profile for our conveyor. We will add an index profile from the Add menu. The new default index is created. To make it according to our conveyor movement, we need to change the motion distance to 300 millimeters. To do that, let's scroll down to the second half of the page to be able to change parameters for this segment. Let's change the units to millimeters and the distance to 300. As for the load, we know that we have five boxes of one kilogram at all times, so we can add five kilograms to the load. Now we can see that for the whole profile, when we hover our cursor over the graph, the corresponding values are being shown in the color dials. Now let's add the dwell time. We can see now that the focus is in the segment of the profile that we just added. The bottom half of the editor is only showing the parameters related to the selected segment. Our dwell time is of half second, which happens to be the same as the default one. 
Let's also add our load mass to the segment, 5 kilograms. Now there's also the possibility of adding an additional load, force or friction coefficient that is not necessarily tied to the motion segment's time span. Let's add a force for the sake of an example. This load can be either variable or constant. To show that this force is untied to the time of the motion segments, let's configure its end time to 0.5 seconds. Let's make it variable from 0 to 100 newtons. Since our conveyor does not have this force applied to it, we can delete it from the segment actions. Note that the segment actions include an undo and redo buttons, inverting your segment, copying, pasting and cutting segments, as well as buttons to change selection of the segment to the right and left. There is also a button you can use to import profiles from the old version of Motion Analyzer and another that you can use to clear the whole profile. Since we're done with our profile, we can close the profile editor right pane and move on to the next step. Now we can continue and start working on the linear mechanism. This will be covered by the next module in this training. By now, you should be familiar with the basic properties of a motion profile in Factory Talk Motion Analyzer and be able to create simple motion profiles for varied application purposes. This concludes this module. Thank you for watching.